So in the last tutorial, we created this map right here. But it, you can't do anything. You just walk around and that's it. There's, there's nothing you can do. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how you can actually create an NPC, a non-player character that you can interact with and will say something to you. So let us get straight into it. So to start off, if you look back up here, if you remember in the previous tutorial, we clicked this button to edit the display or the looks of the map. But if you click on this one, this allows us to create events. Now, an event is sort of like the mechanics of the game. So anything that involves like something happening, an NPC perhaps, like a monster, all of those are going to be events and they're going to be displayed on your map. So to create an event, first we're going to have this clicked. Next, simply go to one of these tiles. You, as you can see, you can highlight them. I want you to just double click on one of these tiles and it should bring up this big, crazy looking event creator thing. So let's get straight into creating an NPC. First thing is we got to decide how this event is going to be triggered. So when an event is triggered, all the stuff that is going to eventually be placed in this big open empty area right here is done through the trigger. So if we look right here, we have this thing called trigger and it's set to action button. Now this means when the player uses the action button, which is going to be like enter or the keystroke Z, this will trigger the event. Furthermore, we also have the priority. Now the priority is going to be where the event is positioned relative to the player. So let's set it the same as characters, which means it's going to be on the same plane as the player characters. Finally, we have the image. Now the image is going to be what the event looks like on the map. If we look right here, RPG Maker MV already has tons of characters we can use to do stuff. So let's go to one of these random characters like Actor 2, this person right here. Let's click, on, let's click on the middle person. And here we have them. They're in our image section. So now, to make this event do something, we have to add something to the contents area right here. So to add something, simply double click. And it's going to bring up this huge thing with all these different choices for what you can add. There's even multiple tabs. So we have all the stuff right here. Go to tab 2. We have all the stuff here. Go to tab 3. We have all the stuff here. And... It doesn't matter how long you spend making RPGs, you'll probably never get used to all the crazy stuff right here. But for the time being, we're going to focus on the first thing right here, which is show text. And this is what you use to like create dialogue. Well, let's input the dialogue we want to appear when we interact with this event. So let's input, hello, I am an event. And that's it. If you want to preview how it looks, simply click this preview button and it gives you a basic understanding of what it's going to look like. We can position it at the bottom of the screen, the middle or the top. I just say leave it on the bottom. And then we can also set so it has a window background, a dim background or a transparent background. For the time being, I say, just, I say just leave it at window and that's good to go. Let's hit OK. Let's hit OK and our event is done. And as you can see, our event displays right here on the screen. So let's run our game and see how this event turns out. So here we are inside the game. We're moving around and all that normal stuff. But this time, we have this person just standing right there. So let's go up to them and push enter while we're looking at them. And when we do so, it'll open up a dialog box and it'll say, hello, I'm an event. If we hit enter again, the dialog box closes and the event ends. Now, let's add more stuff to this event. So let's go back to the event, double click on it, and we'll be brought back to the event page again. So now let's go and we can add more stuff like show another text. So this is another dialogue. And there we have another dialogue. But let's try another cool thing we do. We also have this thing called show choices. And this is going to show multiple choices and have each one do something else. So the choices are yes, no, or whatever. So let's make choice one be I like hot dogs. And then make choice two be I like hamburgers. I hope that's spelled correctly. Anyway, when we do that, we can give the player two choices and when we hit ok it's gonna have two little sections right here in which we can put in different things so for example if we say i like hot dogs this person will say i hate hot dogs ew like that and then if we go to the hamburger section and we double click inside of here we can create another show text that says i love hamburgers yeah 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 and so each of these events are going to be played in order. So first this dialogue, next this dialogue, then it's going to show choices. 
if choice one is chosen, it's going to say, I hate hot dogs. Ew. If choice two is chosen, it's going to say, I love hamburgers. Yay. So let's once again hit OK. Let's go to our game and let's test it out this thing we did. So let's go to our event. Let's go interact with them. And now once again, they'll say, hello, I am an event. Next, we'll say this is another dialogue and our choices will appear. And let's say... I like hamburgers. I love hamburger. Yay! And then once again, the event ends. Now, the final thing you may want to know about when creating an NPC is the ability to add a face next to the dialogue. So if we go back to one of these dialogues by clicking on it, then hitting space, we can edit one of the existing things. So if we look at this place right here, it says face. And if we double click on it, we can select one of these pre-built faces inside RPG Maker MB. So if we look around, we should find the actor two face right here for this person, which we did before. So let's double click on it and boom, and now we have this person's face in the event. As you can see right here, there's also a very faded line right here. Now this line represents where the dialogue box is gonna end. So if we did something like some dialogue that is way past the line right here, then this dialogue's gonna get cut off right here. So we gotta make sure that if you do go past this line, you do a enter space like so, so it continues on the next line by doing blah, 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 blah. And then we can preview it by previewing it and seeing that, hey, it doesn't get cut off anymore. And it continues down here again. You have four lines for dialogue. Any more dialogue? And you probably either want to make it so that you can do it down here for another dialogue. Or you just make it smaller. So once again, let's go add this face. And let's add it for all four of the dialogues like so. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, I'm an event. This is another dialogue. Uh, I like hot dogs. I hate hot dogs. Whoa. I hate hot dogs. I wow, okay. Well then, until next time, RPG Maker Tutorial out.